Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboe, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the 24th day of June 2022. And our topic for today is Learn from your colleagues and mates. Let us pray. Our dear Father, our Master and our Friend, the one who is full of wisdom, we worship, we praise and we adore your holy name. We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. We want to appreciate you for all that you have done in our lives, for all that you are doing and for all that you would yet do. We say take all the glory. We have gathered before you today again to draw strength from you, to be taught of you again. We acknowledge your word as the source of our strength. We've come to feed on it again. We ask that you would fill us to overflow in the name of Jesus and help us, Lord, not just to be hearers of this word, but to be doers of the same, that we may be partakers of the blessings thereof. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 reads, Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 11 And our scripture reading for today is from the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. Colossians 3 verse 16 reads, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. God bless the reading of his word in Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once more the topic for our devotional today is learn from your colleagues and mates. And in the body of our devotional today, our Father in the Lord tells us that there are people who may appear to be your mates, but many of them could actually know a lot more than you do. Thus, whenever you discover such people, Submit yourself to learn from them. By the time you begin applying the lessons you have learned, it would be to your advantage. For example, if you notice that one of your colleagues seems to get along with people easily and that gives him or her some advantage, take that fellow as your case study on how to get along with people. Begin to study him or her closely so that you can gain tips on getting along well with people too. When you need the fellow to explain something about how they get along with people to you, set pride aside and ask. Once you notice something at which someone else is better, it does not matter if the fellow is your mate or even junior to you, learn it from him or her. The Bible does not only encourage elders teaching the younger ones, it also encourages that contemporaries learn from one another and even that you can learn from your juniors. Just ensure that what you are learning is in line with the Word of God. Our Bible reading today instructs us to allow the Word of God to dwell richly in us for the purpose of teaching and admonishing one another. I learned how to pray not from my father in the Lord or any of my Bible teachers then, but from a brother in the church. I wanted to pray for long hours, but whenever I started praying, after 5 to 10 minutes, I would have nothing to say again. I noticed that this brother used to pray for very long, so I decided to always take a position very close to him whenever he was praying. I noticed that for a one hour prayer time, for example, this brother would praise God for about 50 to 55 minutes and then make his request in 5 to 10 minutes. As I learned this, I also started practicing it and up until today, that is the format that my prayers take. What you learn from that person you may consider your contemporary or even junior to you may be one of your greatest strengths in the future. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is learn from your colleagues and mates. Yesterday we saw the topic learn from your superiors and it was a huge blessing. Our Father and the Lord reminded us that although the younger generation may be more technology inclined, or theoretically sound, they can never ignore the older ones 
as they have the practical knowledge that is needed to advance. Hallelujah. We learned yesterday never to despise the elders simply because we are beginning to enjoy some level of successes. The example of Eli and Samuel was also given where we learned that although God was no longer speaking with Eli, Samuel needed the older prophet to understand the voice of God. And in our scripture reading for yesterday, we saw in 2 Kings chapter 3 verse 11 and 12 where Elisha was referred to as the one who poured water in the hands of Elijah. That demonstrates to us submission and service. He was faithfully learning from his superior Elijah. And eventually, God blessed and rewarded him with a double portion of his spirit. Hallelujah! Today we have the topic before us, learn from your colleagues and mates. I can tell you without doubt that this can be a very difficult thing to do when pride is in place when you do not want to be mocked at or laughed at, when you think you have your ego to protect, when you do not want to be perceived as ignorant, when you are too shy or ashamed to admit that you need help. And that is obviously the beginning of steps to failure. However, admitting to one's need for help and submitting to colleagues and mates to learn from them can prove to be of tremendous benefits. The same colleagues and mates you feel may laugh and scorn at you may be in the best position to put you through those things that you need help about. In our devotional today, our Father and the Lord tells us, when you need a fellow to explain something about how they get along with people to you, set aside pride and ask. At this point, you would agree with me that pride can eventually become the thief of that benefit. And who knows, you may never get the same opportunity again. Our Father in the Lord today tells us about himself, how he learned to pray for long hours, stating that he learned it from a brother in the church. Today he is enjoying the benefits of that action. I would also like to share a personal experience. I remember some years ago, there used to be this sister in our fellowship. And just like the example our Father in the Lord gave today, she had this grace that made her get along with people easily. As a matter of fact, she loved effortlessly. I admired it and desired the same for my life too. The question now was how will this become a reality in my life as well? So I braced up and met her one day. I told her I desired this grace that I saw in her. I went on my knees and we prayed together. I can say today without doubt that it has never remained the same for me. Today's topic is such a practical one that we can all search our hearts and see where we need help. Many times, that help may not be so far away. All you may need may be to acknowledge one colleague that God has blessed with such grace and submit to learning in humility to also receive. Our memory verse today from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 11 tells us to comfort ourselves together and to edify one another. Please note also that if God has blessed you with a particular grace, take it as a privilege whenever you have to put someone through in that line and the Lord himself would increase you more in Jesus' name. I'd like us to bow our heads and pray once more. We'd be asking the Lord for grace, the grace to submit to learning, the grace to be humble at heart, the grace to seek knowledge, the grace to submit and to seek to be better daily. We receive today in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord again that you grant unto us a teachable spirit. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you for your word again. Thank you for never leaving us the same way you meet us. Thank you for the blessing of this spiritual daily diet. We ask Lord that you would cause in us a transformation that would make us open to learning until we are transformed daily to look just like you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today we have an action point that tells us to list out things that you know one or two people around you are better at than you and start to learn from today. We receive the grace to do this in the name of Jesus. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Psalms chapter 65 down to chapter 67. Hallelujah. We also want to thank you and appreciate you for joining us. We believe and we know also that you have been blessed. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11. 226. Please endeavor also to like, to share and to subscribe. As you go for today, receive the grace for a teachable spirit in Jesus' name. 
Our hymn for today is the hymn 28 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, When We Walk With The Lord. Have a fruitful day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. Bye for now. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.